Thanksgiving. That wonderful time of the year that signals the true start of the holiday season. The weather is crisp and brisk with a slight chill. We gather with loved ones and feast in celebration of everything we have and everything we aspire to have in the future years to come. Being that it's that time of the year again, I figured we would cover four animated Thanksgiving theme specials for the month of November. We'll start the month off with our first title, the Garfield Thanksgiving special, Garfield Thanksgiving, from 1989. This is a short special clocking in at just under 30 minutes, 23 minutes to be exact, but I'll do my utmost to break it down to the best of my ability. So grab a pumpkin spice latte and a piece of banana pound cake and join me as we review the 1989 special, Garfield's Thanksgiving. It starts off with delightful jazz music, as Garfield and Odie attempt to wake up their owner, John, but quickly turns into marching band music when that doesn't work out as planned. John makes Garfield pancakes for breakfast, which he describes as being more pan and less cake. Frustrated, he looks over to the calendar stuck to the wall and realizes that it's marked Wednesday, and John has made a note to take him to the vet later that day. Wanting to avoid this at all cost, he tears off the page from the calendar, hoping that John will see it and believe that it's the next day, which happens to be Thanksgiving Thursday. He goes out of his way to point this out to him and he concurs with Garfield that he's aware of the holiday and that they need to make a trip to the grocery store to buy items for dinner. But on the way there, Garfield notices that they are not heading to the grocery store, as John reveals that he knows the truth and that they're truly headed to the vet. Garfield causes a fuss as we see the car swerving from one side of the street to the other. The next scene cuts to them at the vet. When they're finally seen by the female vet, John instantly tries to make a move on her, but she shoots down his advances repeatedly. He doesn't seem to take notice of her utter disgust of him through the remarks she makes, as he continues to relentlessly pursue her, with him ultimately threatening to hold his breath until she agrees to go on a date with him, which she eventually agrees to purely out of pity for the poor bastard, but not before acknowledging Garfield's worst nightmare, that he's overweight and needs to go on a diet and it couldn't have come at a worse time, with Thanksgiving being the following day. They head home, and John informs Garfield that Odie will be monitoring his caloric intake and will be on a sharp watch to make sure he doesn't eat anything too rich or heavy. The next morning, they awake and John attempts to start cooking Thanksgiving dinner with Garfield watching. Now, I used to watch Garfield all the time as a kid, but I admit I haven't seen it since around 1998 when I was six years old, so it's been quite a while. So I don't know if making John into a moron is a normal episodic thing, or if they're trying to imply that he's aloof due to his delusional happiness about the vet being on her way. I'm not sure. The reason I say this is because as he attempts to prepare the turkey, it's instantly obvious that this man has never done this before in his life. First, he reads the instructions and then butters himself instead of the turkey when it says, butter the skin, and follows with a, you, you can't, can't believe, believe everything you read when it says to stuff the turkey, followed by more idiotic mistakes. He puts on his brown sports coat and when the doorbell rings, he rushes to answer it, forgetting that he's without pants, fully exposing his bright pink polka dot boxers. He opens the door and greets the vet and is immediately embarrassed at the clothing revelation scolding Garfield for not informing him. After he returns fully dressed, he excuses himself to the kitchen, leaving Garfield and Odie alone with the vet as they go to the couch. She jokes with him about his weight, but then realizes that maybe she was being too stringent, and releases him from his diet. Meanwhile, John realizes that he completely fucked up the dinner, and is worried that the vet will be angry. After conversing with Garfield, he comes to the conclusion that he should call his grandmother to come over and remedy the situation. She arrives in a flash and rushes to the kitchen to start preparing the meal, which absolutely delights Garfield as he can now get something to eat. John tries to buy time by telling the vet that they should take some time to reminisce on the true meaning of Thanksgiving as he starts to ramble on, causing her to fall asleep on and off. Grandma finally finishes the dinner, says goodbye to Garfield, and discreetly dips out leaving all of them with a full-course Thanksgiving dinner with all of the traditional sides included. The vet is impressed, believing that John put the entire meal together himself. And secretly, so is John, as he can't believe the astonishing job done by his grandmother. They all have a pleasant dinner together, and later as the vet is preparing to make her exit, John asks her to return next year, and she agrees, 
and leaves him with a kiss on the cheek. Her opinion of him completely changed on the predication of a lie. Garfield and Odie both clearly ate too much, both damn near passed out on the couch. But Garfield manages to muster the strength to relocate before John can return. And when he does, he notices immobile Odie and declares that he's now officially on a diet. And with the roles reversed, Garfield is now in charge of tracking what Odie eats and the special concludes. The end. So what do I think overall about Garfield's Thanksgiving? It's fine. It's perfectly inoffensive. It's a delightful little short that's worth a watch every now and then, I suppose. I mean, I'm not going to pretend like you're going to find much depth here. It's fucking Garfield. But let's be honest. That's not why we return to these simple, timeless specials from our childhoods. It's not for the depth. It's for the comfort. And that's perfectly okay. So if you want to take 20 minutes of your time and throw it on to get in the holiday spirit, I say go for it. With that being said, I'd like to take a moment to thank my editor. Thank you for all your hard work. It's greatly appreciated and I wouldn't be able to do this without you. And I'd like to thank everyone who's tuning in as well. And I hope you'll join me next week as we review the next animated Thanksgiving special. But I'll leave it at that. The trailer will be out in a few days on Saturday, November 4th, and that video will drop on the subsequent Wednesday, November 8th. Everyone, I hope you're enjoying the beginning of the autumn season. Until next week, take care.